Social Emotional Learning Through Conscious Discipline, Kindergarten to Grade 2, Episode 6. These presenters are not endorsed by Conscious Discipline as trainers. We are simply sharing practices we find helpful in our schools and free resources Conscious Discipline provides for the betterment of all. Please visit www.consciousdiscipline.com for more information and materials. Let's get started. This episode will air next in Spanish. Este episodio se transmitirá en español a continuación. Every episode will follow the same pattern to support safety through predictability. First, introduction, followed by story time and a question to think about. Next, find your safekeeper for a connection activity. And finally, we'll close with a wish well. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Let's breathe. Stand or sit up nice and tall. Stretch your arms out in front of you. Squinch up your face, shrug your shoulders up to your ears and squeeze your fists tightly. Now take a deep breath in through your nose. Now exhale through your mouth, relaxing your muscles and letting all the stress and tightness drain out of your body along with the air. Try again. Breathe in, exhale and drain it all out. One last time, breathe in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Schubert's Choice by Dr. Becky A. Bailey, illustrated by James Hercatch. Hooray, hooray, it's a glorious day. Hooray, hooray, I love to play. Schubert sings as he plays with toys in his room. Time to get dressed for school, Schubert's mom Sarah shouts from the kitchen. Schubert continues to play and sing his song. Hooray, hooray, it's a glorious day. Hooray, hooray, I love to play. Soon, Sarah peeks her head into Schubert's room to check on his progress. She sees him in his underwear playing on the floor. She takes a deep breath and focuses on what she wants him to do. She says with excitement, Schubert, you have a choice. You can wear the blue shirt with the S or you can wear the green shirt with the S. Which one will you pick today? Hmm, the blue shirt with the S, responds Schubert. Good for you, blue it is, Schubert's mom says as she tosses him the blue shirt. As he slips on the shirt, Schubert begins to sing a song about all kinds of words that begin with S. S is for Schubert, Schubert starts with S. S is for Sophie, Sophie starts with S. S is for Silly, Silly starts with S. Then Schubert begins making silly faces in his mirror. Before long, Sarah peeks her head into his room to check on his progress. She sees him making faces in the mirror. Sarah walks over and makes a silly face herself. When Schubert looks at her and laughs, she says, okay, silly face, keep getting dressed. You can wear these pants with front pockets or these pants with back pockets. Which pants would be best for you today? Sarah asks. Front pockets, says Schubert. I can carry more things in front pockets. I'm sure you can, grins Schubert's mom as she leaves the room. Schubert slips his pants on and begins to think about all the things he could put in his front pockets. He begins to dance and sing. Marbles in my front pockets, elephants won't fit. Money in my front pockets, trees won't fit. Sarah peeks in and sees Schubert dancing and singing. She walks over close to him and waits until he makes eye contact with her. Then she says, Schubert, you have a choice. You can wear socks that go high on your leg or socks that stay low by your ankle. Which will it be? 
Schubert selects the high socks. Sarah waits until Schubert begins to put the socks on before she leaves. Schubert begins thinking about high and low and starts to sing. I can talk high, I can talk low, I can stretch high, I can stretch low, I can point high, I can point low. Once again, Sarah peeks into Schubert's room to check on his progress. He is dressed and ready for school. You did it, she exclaims. You put on your blue shirt, your pants with the front pockets, and your high socks. Way to go. You did it. Schubert beams with pride as he heads off to school with his sister Sophie. His teacher, Mrs. Bookbinder, greets him at school. She is wearing an apron with little pictures on it. Her face lights up when she sees Schubert. Mrs. Bookbinder says, Good morning, Schubert. I have a choice this morning. Would you like a high five, a pinky hug, or a snake hug this morning? He decides on the snake hug. In class, Schubert sees Big Benny, the beetle, sitting bewildered in front of a pile of books. What's up? he asks. I can't do it. I have a mess of books to put back on the shelves, sighs Big Benny. No worries, mate, Schubert replies in an Australian accent. You can handle it. Just break it down with choices. See, you always have a choice. You can start with this pile here or that pile there, Schubert says. Which will you start with? Big Benny picks a pile and begins his task with ease. Big Benny looks over and sees the ant triplets arguing. He says, hold up, you have choices. You can work together to solve your problem or you can ask for help. Which would you like, solving or asking for help? Help, they say in unison. Gladly, says Big Benny, I am glad to help. Schubert watches his friends being successful and begins to sing his song. Hooray, hooray, what a glorious day. Hooray, hooray, I was successful today. Hooray, hooray, when I lost my way. Choices help me know what to do or say. Schubert's mom gives him lots of choices in the morning to help him get ready. What choices do you make in the morning? This morning, I had to choose what to wear, what to eat for breakfast, and where to sit to do my work. We always have the choice to be helpful or hurtful. What are some ways that you can choose to be helpful instead of hurtful? Think about your family as well as your community. Just like Big Benny, you might need to clean up and feel overwhelmed. You can handle it. Just break it down with choices. Quick, go find your trusted adult or someone who's a safekeeper where you are. We'll wait a second for you to get them. Way to go. All right, so stand up face to face and look each other in the eye. You're going to say the school family chant together. Follow along with the directions on the visual to and repeat after me. I reach up, I reach down, touch your toes. I smile to all my friends and family around. I see you, point to your safekeeper. You see me, point to yourself. And together we make a family. We've come to the end of our time together and we'd like to wish well. So put your hands over your heart, take a deep breath in, pause and picture something precious in your mind, breathe out while opening your arms and send those precious loving thoughts out to the person you're wishing well or just out to the universe and say with me, I wish you well. For more information on social emotional supports, please visit our BCPS website, scs.bcps.org slash departments 
slash social underscore emotional underscore support. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to invite your safekeeper to join us.